if you leave your shopping cart abandoned in the in a in a parking space that is an act of selfishness entitlement and laziness anytime we see someone do anything in this world whether it's on social or or you're literally sitting in your car watching this person abandon their shopping cart you're still only privy to a very small snapshot of the big picture in theory you have no idea what's going on in that person's world what's going on in their life what's going on earlier that day now i'm not a gambler if i was i would still put most of my money on the fact that that person is rather entitled lazy and selfish but we don't know that for a fact for all you know that that person has had the worst morning they have ever had you know their their dog got sick they got in a fight with their wife and they found out their grandmother passed away they showed up all for work and lost and they lost they they found out they lost the big account and, and they're they're just in a they're in a bad mood they you know I, I don't feel like giving a little extra effort they're kind of in an f the world type mindset and that might be the only time they've ever left a shopping cart now people are 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 almost predictable in behavior and i'm willing to guess that most people that abandon their shopping cart do that regularly that is a part of their behavior i, I try and have empathy and compassion for everyone and you know i, I know that that i do the best i can to consistently make good decisions and i work really hard to not be entitled not be lazy and not be selfish but i'll also tell you i'm not batting a thousand i'm not perfect i'm fallible and over the last 46 years of my life i have absolutely made some some decisions that were lazy selfish and entitled now they had, they weren't shopping cart related yeah. but they were they were in other context of life so i too have been fallible for doing something that that i would now quickly admonish for someone else so one of my favorite phrases is there's lots of things in life that are understandable it doesn't mean that they're acceptable um being lazy entitled and selfish there are times where that is under, an understandable human condition to me it doesn't mean that leaving their shopping cart is acceptable there's not a single circumstance where i'll ever acknowledge that that is acceptable to do it but i also know the human condition we prioritize our needs so my convenience in this moment is way more important than damaging your car is ultimately what that person is saying but i understand how people get to that point but, you know i love the phrase guard your yard like i'm responsible for putting my shopping cart back i'm responsible for raising three children that will want to put their own shopping cart back and i don't mind picking up the slack for other human beings when i see a shopping cart in the parking lot i just put it back cuz i believe it's the right thing to do and that's the code at which i choose to live by those are the only things that i either have control over or have influence over outside of that i've learned to let it go because if if i'm going to be up at night seething and can't sleep because somebody left their shopping cart out now i'm a victim to circumstance so most of this stuff i say in jest cuz i mean i don't let it bother me if someone else wants to go through life lazy entitled and selfish that's on them they're the ones that will ultimately suffer for that not for me